To relight your water heater pilot light, follow these instructions. Before getting started, this is a warning. This procedure consists of working with natural gas. Extreme caution should be used. If you are in any way uncomfortable trying this procedure, do not. There are many so-called handy people that are uncomfortable working with natural gas. Please call your American Home Shield representative at 1-800-776-4663 or visit www.ahsservice.com for a qualified contractor to make the necessary repairs. If you do feel comfortable trying this procedure, use caution. If you notice excessive amounts of gas buildup, stop and wait five minutes. The gas must dissipate before restarting. If the gas smells persist, something could be wrong, so halt the procedure immediately. Natural gas could cause an explosion. You can figure if your water heater has an exhaust pump, as shown at the top of the water heater, the system will have a similar control valve as shown. They all have electronic igniters for their pilot systems with no pilot flame to relight. Contact your real estate agent for a referral or click on the link below for a contractor in your area to make the necessary repairs. The first step is to locate the control valve. On the top there will be a control valve that can be turned to the off, on, or pilot positions. Next to the valve is a button that can be pushed. The valve must be in the pilot position for the button to be able to be pushed down. Turn the valve to the pilot position. Remove both access covers. There is an outer and an inner access cover. Follow the middle tube off the bottom of the control valve all the way inside the burning chamber. The middle tube is the gas tube and joins two other tubes and at the end is where the pilot flame is lit. This is tricky as the gas button must be held down while sticking a match inside the burner chamber. Take an extended tip lighter or match at the end of a pair of pliers and place it at the end of the middle tube and hold it there while you depress the gas button. The pilot flame should light. Continue holding the gas button for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, release the gas button. The flame should stay lit. If the pilot flame goes out, repeat the procedure only this time hold the button for 45 seconds. Sometimes it takes a while for the thermocouple to heat up. Some of the newer water heaters have their own igniter similar to a gas grill. Push the igniter button while pressing the gas button to light the pilot flame. If the igniter does not work, follow the procedure if no igniter were present. This shows a flame lit inside a glass window. With the pilot flame lit, turn the valve to the on position. When the valve is turned to the on position, the burner should engage immediately. It will not be uncommon to hear internal dripping sounds when first engaged as the condensation is burning off. The dripping will eventually stop. Note, if the pilot light will not stay lit after three attempts, you will have to call a contractor for the necessary repairs. It is possible that a handyman can make this repair. If you have no contractor, your real estate agent can be an excellent resource for a local contractor. Home-411 also provides a link at the lower left corner of this website to access contractors that can make repairs. We provide this link as a service for our members as contractors can be very difficult to find. Due diligence should always be used when hiring anyone to come into your home to make any repairs. Please read the Home-411 Limitations of Liability.